the question is, am I self-sabotaging or am I right? Hello everyone, it's Mariah Lovemore, and here on my channel, I talk about wellness, growth, healing, beauty, and so much more. And today, God put on my spirit to talk about self-sabotaging. I see a lot of people doing this without realizing that they are just living in fear. Like, you cannot live in fear. A symptom of self-sabotaging is having low self-esteem having traumatic events as a child or even as an adult. Sometimes, unfortunately, it can be an underlying mental illness that you have. And I am not coming for anyone's throat. I am just simply here to help you grow. That way you won't continue to feel stuck. If you feel yourself procrastinating because you just can't get things done, Maybe you may lack the knowledge of how to do it. Start asking people questions. Start doing a, the necessary research. I don't know everything. And I just open my mouth up and boldly ask. Ask the people that you may think they don't know. But you will be surprised. You will be really surprised at the advice that they will give you. And... Nine times out of ten, people won't openly just give you some advice because they may be afraid that you might clap back or get offended. Just take the advice and take it to God in prayer because you never know. I have literally been experiencing so many transitions in my life. And I will say that these are really beautiful transitions. Even beautiful transitions can make you feel uncomfortable. It can make you want to pull back and stay in that same shell that you're used to staying in. I am encouraging you at this very moment, open your arms out to God and receive everything that the devil stole from you, everything that you deserve. It's not just for you to enjoy. It's for you to pour out into others. So when you get saved, we don't just get saved and say, hey, you know what? I'm saved because I just want to go to heaven. Like, no, you're not done yet. If that's the case, today my pastor said, if you get saved and want to just go to heaven, and that's, and that's all your purpose was on earth, like, you will be done. Just like that like <laughs> so thank god that you have another chance thank god that you have another day because god is not done with you yet honey so keep on going keep on going and if you need to shut out the noise shut out the noise one of my good new friends um one of my good friends he told me sometimes you just have to shut everybody out and you know, I used to feel so guilty doing that in the past because I felt like people, my people needed me to minister to, to, to minister to them, to give them the advice. But guess what? Some, oh my gosh, I love saying, guess what? You guys convict me. If I say, guess what again, like write it in the comments below because that, that's not cool. I can't just keep saying, guess what? Guess what? Guess what? Like, this is not a game, okay? This is real life. But you have to do what you need to do. And most of the times, you're going to have to take the sacrifices and shut everything out to do what you need to do in order to get to the next level in life. If you have a really hard project that's not fun, just know that those steps that you need to get to in order to enjoy the fruits are going to be the steps that you need to retain the fruits. Mm, that's a good one. Imagine you going to school and you're being trained um, how to be a performer, to, to be a performer in entertainment, right? In order for you to get jobs, 
you have to have someone there, an agent, to get you the jobs. So you don't know anything about bookkeeping, you don't know anything about a negotiating a deal. You're climbing the ladder, right? You're reaching a certain momentum in life where you're like, oh my gosh, I gotta keep going. And then boom, something happens to your agent. You no longer have an agent. So now you're missing out on all these jobs because you don't know how to approach whoever is hiring and negotiate a deal. So it's really important to know your paperwork, to know what's going on. Um, that's a lot of the times, a lot of C CEOs and CFOs don't know what's going on because they never experienced working as a cashier, experienced being a cook, experienced organizing a stock in groceries, experience uh, taking out the carts. So they have a system in mind, but to in order to make a better work environment, if they just take the time out and go experience and shadow some of the workers, which sounds crazy, then there will be a healthier work environment where there will be substantial growth. One thing that you can do today to stop self-sabotaging. Stop trying to make everyone happy. It's not going to work. They will never be happy or satisfied. The only satisfaction, the only satis satisfaction that I personally believe one can have is through God, which turn over to which which changes into oh my gosh god i don't even deserve for you to treat me like this because i have so many flaws i'm not perfect i made so many mistakes but when you try to please people it's just not a good thing to do you will end up feeling really unhappy and that's a quick way to continue the cycle of, of self-sabotaging another way Maybe you are on the receiving end or you are projecting this onto someone. Fears and insecurity. Have you ever told someone that you were going on a trip or you was going to try something new only to hear them say something negative about it? That's them projecting their fear onto you. And you're like, well, should I go or should I stay? Should I try this or should I just avoid it? Or should I just trust God? When someone is projecting their fears and insecurities on you, you have to let them know like, hey, you know, I don't have this fear. Um, God gave me not a spirit of fear. God did not give us a spirit of fear, but he gave us a spirit of power and of love and of a sound mind so give them that bible scripture if you are someone that watches the news all the time you wake up and watch the news you watch the news while you eat lunch you watch the news all right before you go to sleep take a break take a break because you are allowing all this negativity to come into your floodgates and when that happens Fear is instilled in you. Now, if you're different, personally, when I was watching the news, when I hear about a bad story or something tragic happened, I would go in prayer. But after a while, you know, you may sense that you feel angry and you're like, what is this world coming to? What are we going to do? And we don't want to focus on a lot of bad news and having fear in our hearts. And if you're someone that fears all the time, that's not good for your health. It is not good for your health. Like you have to find ways to stop living in fear. Like there's literally people out here that's being used and they're walking in their purpose to find solutions for the problems 
in situations that you fear. If you don't know your purpose, maybe that very thing that makes you upset, makes you angry, just makes you just feel like, why is this happening? That just may be your purpose in life, to figure out a solution to that problem. So do the necessary research. Dream, pray, ask God for guidance. Ask God for you to have prophetic dreams. Another reason why you may be self-sabotaging is because you're too focused on what will go wrong and why it's going wrong and I'm not gonna do this because it don't feel right. The question is, Am I self-sabotaging or am I right? So you're going to be approached with opportunities. You're going to be approached with ideas. It's up to you to pray to God to see if this align with what he wants in his will for your life. About half, I turned down the majority of ideas and opportunities that come my way because it may be a good idea, but is it a God idea? Okay, so focus on what's going right with what you're doing versus what's going wrong. You may self-sabotage because you feel like you're not worthy. You're not worthy of a promotion. You're not worthy of making more money. You're not worthy of a better relationship. You're not wor uh, worthy of wellness. You're not worthy of eating better because it's too expensive. You know, if you want some tips on how to eat healthier on a budget, please leave a comment below and I will make a video about how to do that. Um, you may feel like you just don't have any value. Like, why am I chosen? to do something so great like oh man like I don't feel like I'm really worthy like um I've done some really wild stuff I treated some people really really bad just know that you have value and this is what you can do if you are self-sabotaging because you feel like you're not worthy write down a list of all the accomplishments that you have made in your entire life Take your time and write those things down. Put it on your refrigerator, put it on your bathroom mirror, put it somewhere where you can see it every day. Stop comparing yourself to others. There's always gonna be somebody better than you and there's also always gonna be someone that's doing worse off than you. Just focus on you and stop comparing yourself to others and stop comparing others to you and others to other people because it's damaging it doesn't help the bible say that there is no church better than the next and there is no person better than the next so when you start to focus on you i promise you you will i promise you you will start to do better you will start to figure out who you are a lot of people suffer with figuring out their identity and things that they want to do because they allow others to write their story instead of God writing your story. If you want to compare yourself to anyone, compare yourself to you. <laughs> Ask God to fill everything that needs to be in you. Ask him to fill every to, to fill you up with a better character, to help you get through the things that you've been through. Um, get the therapy that you need. You can get two two weeks free. You can get two weeks free of therapy by clicking the link below. If you need any advice, you can click my Wizio link and I will give you the advice that you need. You can choose from the prompts what best fits your situation. You can also scroll all the way down to receive a free prayer. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Please follow me on Instagram at please follow me on Instagram at Mariah underscore love more and on tiktok at mariah love more check out my music videos battle depression anthem a music video that is really helpful for people that's going through mental illness depression also check out he's alive 
and also a video I dedicated to my mom. It's called Who Day. Also a video I dedicated to my mom. It's called Who Day 1981. If you're part of the Bengals Nation, honey. And until next time, see you later. I gotta hold on, hold on. Wait a second. I gotta add this one to this, okay? You keep accepting toxic relationships. That's a quick way to self-sabotage, especially when you want a blessing from God, a bigger blessing, because we are blessed. But you keep accepting the, these, these toxic relationships. Stop doing that. These people are holding you back and they are in the way of God's blessing.